and welcome to another episode of Markle Sparkle where we talk all things Meghan Markle and Prince Harry related. Now a lot happening this week but I want to start off with an article that came up in the mirror claiming that a large portion of the British public want Harry and Meghan to be exiled. <laughs> This, of course, is due to the fallout from the book Finding Freedom by Carolyn Durand and Omid Scobie, and I'll get into that in more detail in another episode. Now, bearing in mind it has been confirmed that Harry and Meghan did not have a part to play in the book, and I, for the most part, actually believe this because given what's coming out, there are some parts of the book that don't exactly make them look great and the press is certainly trying to twist the narrative and as we've seen are already printing a lot of untruths and mistruths about this book. There have also been many other royal biographies written including ones that were anti-Megan and no one was polling anybody about these. In fact none of the other royal biographies seem to be getting the same amount of attention as this one. Now having worked in PR before I know that it is incredibly easy to conduct these so-called polls and use them to create a story that fits your narrative so one should always be careful and not take them too seriously. But here's my take on this. Haven't Harry and Meghan already pretty much been driven into exile because of the constant negative attention? Now, I don't want to give the haters too much credit. I believe that even without the media scrutiny, Harry and Meghan would have left. It's been known for a long time that Harry wanted to find his own path, and I think Meghan coming onto the scene simply just gave him the confidence to do so. He finally had someone who understood him and could give him the strength to leave. But it's always him that has wanted to leave. Being within the palace means following a set of rules that are highly restrictive and you can see that Harry and Meghan were very much forced to dim their shine and they had to dim their shine a lot because while Harry and Meghan do have incredible star power it's not like it's hard to outshine anyone else in that royal family. Sheep roaming wild around the streets of Wales is a more interesting headline than the average member of the royal family showing up to an event to cut a ribbon or pot a plant. The fact of the matter is that Harry and Meghan left and they chose to leave. The press and parts of the public are acting like that person who got dumped and can't get over it and are now acting like they're the ones that are doing the dumping. Like no, Harry and Meghan got on a plane and are now soaking up the sun in California, living that Cali life in Tyler Perry's mansion, signing deals, moving up and moving on. Furthermore, it has now come to light that Harry had to be talked in to the 12 month review that was put in place by the palace. And the funny thing is that the Sussex squad called this out a long time ago. We knew that the review was put in place for the benefit of the firm and not for Harry and Meghan, and certainly not for Meghan. I think that the palace thought one of two things was going to happen. Number one, that Harry would leave Meghan. And given some of the revelations that are coming out of Finding Freedom about how Meghan was viewed, this isn't surprising. William reportedly telling Harry to make sure that he wasn't being blinded by lust, which is pretty rich coming from someone who, if you believe the rumours, spends his day in the Norfolk Hills gardening roses. They believe that Harry would come to his senses and come home. The second thing I think they thought would happen was that Harry and Meghan wouldn't survive, that they would come home, tell between their legs, begging for the palace to take them back into the family. I think also that the press and royal family believed so much in the negative narrative that they were creating that they completely underestimated just how big of a fan base that Harry and Meghan have. They were not anticipating the Sussex squad. They were not expecting the pushback because they're still stuck in 1997, quite possibly even still stuck mentally in the 1800s. They failed to read the room during the Diana years and have failed to read the room now. The Sussex Squad fandom is rock solid and this has been proven by the numerous fundraisers they have organised without any input whatsoever from Harry and Meghan's team. We all remember the Sussex baby shower which raised money in the name of baby Archie and more recently the hashtag inspired by Megan fundraiser for Camp Fed, a charity that provides education for girls in Africa and this is being held in honour of Megan and Harry's upcoming birthdays. 
Harry and Meghan are able to inspire other people to do work on behalf of them, something that in comparison the Cambridges have not been able to do in almost a decade. The Spare and his wife can inspire people to take action, but the future king and queen, it appears, cannot. This is a major problem for the palace and they cannot blame Harry and Meghan for this. They need to look at why they are not able to connect with people in the same way. The few appearances Harry and Meghan have made since leaving the royal family have been smash hits. Both Harry and Meghan have also signed with the Harry Walker Speaker Agency, who represents several former American presidents and some of the biggest names in entertainment, they are without a doubt set to become a multi-million, if not a billion dollar brand. In conclusion, Harry and Meghan will be fine. It is so hilarious to watch people screaming that they should have their titles removed when it's so obvious that they don't need their titles. They don't need tiaras and they don't need palaces to survive. Meghan was already building a platform and a brand before she ever entered that family. They have all the star power between them and in fact will become even bigger and better than I think even they ever thought they would become. The press and the constant negative coverage have actually only upped to their star power. Yes, they had their haters, but they also have incredibly dedicated and loyal fans. Now look, as horrible as it is for Harry and Meghan to be going through this, they have every opportunity to turn it around and there is literally no motive for them to go back to the royal family. I mean, to do what? Take a back seat to people who have been stealing their ideas and trying to sabotage them? Nope, I don't think so. And the whole I dumped you and you didn't dump me narrative by the press and some quarters of the public needs to stop. Harry and Meghan are going to sparkle and shine bright like a diamond and we will be cheering them on the entire way. That's all for now. Keep sparkling my lovelies and I will see you in the next episode.